you had a had a run today, Darcy. Was Charlie Cameron out there with you guys? Yeah, he was out there this morning, um, looking good to go. So um, it's good to good to have him back out there. Um, very energetic for the group when he's out there, so it was good. So you look good that he sort of trained trained fully. Or was it just sort of like uh, stuff off to the side? I think so. I'm actually not too sure. I wasn't watching him too closely myself, so uh, yeah, I'm actually not too sure. Sorry. It's I think he was out there for most of it. You're right. It's almost been a Lazarus-like rise. I mean, everyone when he went down, the ladies were holding his knee with really concern. Yeah. A new surprise that he's out there training a couple of days later. Like it's oh, almost I, miraculous. Yeah, I guess just sometimes that in, that split instance it can be pretty painful, and then as you sort of get moving, you, you get the blood flow back going again. It can sort of you know ease off a bit, um, even the ankle as well. When you're rolling ankle, they're never too pleasant at the time, and then you can start getting it going again. So it um, didn't look too good, but it's good to see that he is healthy. And he's just so vitally important to your forward structure. Isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's all, not all Australian for no reason. So um, yeah, he's a crucial part of the team. And uh, Cam Rayner was he out there? Was yeah, he was. He yeah, um, I think he, I think he did most of the training. Um, so hopefully, yeah, he's looking pretty good and he's healthy and ready to go. That, that, that's earlier than expected for Cam, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure the full extent of the injuries. Uh, um, but yeah, if, if he's good to go, then it's a good sign. Yeah. That's a, that's a big one. Yeah, absolutely. How's your medical degree? Hey, yeah, yeah. No, not too great at the moment by the looks of it, is it? I've got to pay a bit more attention, I think. Um, uh, North, obviously, maybe a tough team to prepare for. Had a lot of injuries. No Ben Brown. Uh, what do you make of their, their form and their football? Um, yeah, well, when, I mean, when you look at them, though, they've uh, they've actually beat a couple of good teams this year. Um, so, you know, you always know that they're going to come out and they're going to throw, throw everything out. Yeah, they're a tough, tough, proud team. Um, so, yeah, they're going to have a different look to probably previous times, but um, something we've got to get, get ready and we'll prepare for. How was it to actually have a training session? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't mind actually not having them, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it was good just rolling through, getting game to game, but no, it was a good change up. Obviously, we get a little bit more time to recover now as well, so a bit of a bonus. Anything you worked on in particular? I mean, because you don't get a chance to work on stuff, do you? Uh, no, not really. It's probably just the, the usual stuff that we would be doing throughout the week as sort of a, as a line group and defenders and that. Um, nothing too specific, nothing serious changes, just, just back to how it was, really. Any yeah. concern, Darcy, you might have a, like a mental letdown after going game, 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 and you just go, um, I have a mental. I don't think so. I think um, the group sort of maybe have done that in the past, but I think we've sort of come a fair way and matured a fair bit, and um, Fags is pretty good at catching, you know, catching that sort of thing before it happens. So um, I think we'll be on the front foot with that and won't let it happen. Does your training schedule change every week? I think this week you've got seven days, so it's a yep. this week. Yeah, uh, it's just back to sort of how it has been for seven days. So when we do have the seven to eight day break, it's consistent throughout the year. So obviously it's a little bit different um, coming off the four day breaks, but back to how it was before then, if that makes sense. So just, yeah, normal as, as it is, yeah. Must be pleased, like you got yourself in a good position now. Second place, 11 rounds, gonna get a few more at home. Um, how do you think you're going generally? Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, it's good to be sitting in that spot with his, with, in this position. Um, yeah, we had that sort of, you know, condensed period and we were able to come away with three wins out of the four games, which we were pretty happy about. But um, as we know and as we've seen this year, um, it's quite up and down, so you can never be too happy with yourself. Um, especially coming into this time of the year, it's stuff, stuff starts to get serious and, um, yeah, it's an important time to just stay on, focus on the task and that sort of thing. I don't know, we started off asking about, asking about Charlie, but, and it's, I guess, the defenders, you know, get, not in the headlines, you're not, you're not the rock stars of the team, but that doesn't matter because you're the rock of the team, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it's just, just, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't bother us as long as we're sort of, we're out there, we're playing good footy, getting the job done. It's the main thing at the moment. Um, obviously, it's been a sort of a while since we've had this sort of run of success and that sort of thing, so that's just the main thing and we're just happy, happy going along with that for now. Yeah, absolutely. It's tight unit at the back, but you've had a few outs over yep. the last couple of weeks, but so how, how the others have come in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, guys have come in like Noah Answorth, um, Alex Withen, and just played their role straight away, even probably above you know what they've had to. So it's good to know that you've got that depth, um, especially with Richie missing this week. It'll give someone else a chance to come in and play. So um, if that does happen, we've got that depth there, and it's good to know that you know the, the team role and the, everyone can come in and just play their role. Has there been any difficulties slotting those, those guys coming in and out? It's pretty much you and Harris the only constants all season. Um, yeah, it probably does cause a few headaches, I guess, for the, the coaching staff. But as always, as you hear, that's that's always a positive, um, and yeah, it's something something that's good to have. How's uh, Ryan uh, Lester chance to, chance to come back? I'd say he would be. Yeah, there's probably a couple in the mix, but probably leading that sort of with the experience and he, when he was in the team previously, he's playing good footy. So I'd say he would be. Yeah. Richard drives going. so much of that attack out of that back half, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, obviously we saw when he missed with the hamstring, um, but you know Alex Withen and that came in and they were able to sort of take that that step. It'll, he's obviously you want him in the team, but um, I'm sure whoever comes in will be able to fill that void.
Are you playing some of the most consistent footy of your career, do you think? Um, yeah, it, it, a little bit. It, it probably does help though, like I said, now we're having that success, so we're getting a lot more pressure on the ball and that sort of thing. And um, we're able to turn the ball over in the front half, so um, a lot more. So probably not defending as many inside 50s as previously, and that, that probably all just combines and helps all as one, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. I know you mentioned that they've had a couple of wins this year against you know, better opposition, but lately, is it yeah. Hard not to sort of think of it like that? Oh, not really for us. Like I said, I think that's probably what we might have done in the past. But I think you've got to look at it this year. It's quite, like I said, it's quite up and down. So you just don't, you just can't, <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get, and you just can't expect to go out there and get a soft game. So um, we've got to be on our toes. And we're, yeah, really ready to play a tough, tough game of footy. Does Chance might have to head up north and play some a game or some yep. games uh, in North Queensland? Would you like that option? Uh, yeah, um, I guess, yeah, it'd be good. I haven't really heard too much about that sort of thing, but um, yeah, if we've got to go up there and play, it'd be good. Good for them and good for us, I guess. Yeah, expose the game a bit more up there. I mean, there's been criticism from some teams in Western Australia, South Australia, that the Lions have had a good run because yep. all the footies in Queensland, but really, mostly the games have been a metric on. You haven't actually had that much home ground. Against. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, we are in a lucky position with what we've had, but yeah, like you said, we have had to still travel down um, on the bus and that sort of thing uh, most weeks since we've been back, so. It's just, yeah, there's not much we can do about it, it's just the way it is, yeah.